Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and Windows 11 is a giant hemorrhoid, but then again, most of Windows is a hemorrhoid, and Windows 11 is the chief hemorrhoid got released a couple days ago. You may have noticed on YouTube a few channels have been doing reviews of an operating system, and I have nothing against that, absolutely, but- Oh, I hate that file! I'm so- I swear I've tried changing this battery at this point, I'm gonna go Mortal Kombat on it in a goddamn minute. But ladies and gentlemen, Windows 11 effectively launches, and to be completely real with you, it's not much more different than Windows 10. We basically already knew this. I loaded up the start menu and I effectively found that there was no crazy cringe social media app. None of that Facebook built-in Mark Zuckerberg spying on me. None of that TikTok nonsense. There were a couple messaging applications, but you know, it is what it is. Microsoft's an indie company. They gotta be able to sell you a license and advertise to you at the same time. There is, of course, the uh, taskbar in the center. You can change it to the left. God, thank you. I don't know why they didn't include a right option for crying out loud, but whatever. We can only innovate so hard. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, Windows 11 has a set of new requirements. Oh yeah, they basically require you to have a TPM module, which is a trusted platform module, and they also require you to have secure boot enabled. Now to understand, in layman's terms, these uh, modules and systems are basically designed to enhance the security of your system. And so therefore, I don't really mind all too much. But since I don't run Windows natively, and I didn't want to change my hardware just to satisfy Microsoft and their decrepit blood urge to control my computer, I wondered, could I virtualize Windows 11 and have my cake and eat it too? Ladies and gentlemen, I know a couple days ago, a week ago at this point, I talked about how I'm weaning myself away from virtual machines, but Microsoft yanked me back in yet again. So I decided to test myself. Do I have to abide by the requirements? Now you've probably seen a couple tech channels basically change a few files around and get rid of the requirements for Windows 11. While that's all nice and dandy, it's not as if that'll actually hold years down the road when Microsoft gets a little more rigid wanting you to do something with your computer. So to understand, today we're going to virtualize the system and basically install Windows 11 while spoofing all of the requirements that it wants. Now this video basically requires that you follow my virtual machine videos where I set up a gaming virtual machine underneath Linux. So I have a Windows 10 virtual machine already there. I've been playing some games under it, so I decided why not update it to Windows 11. So I backed up the virtual machine, which is basically saving a state like you would an emulator. God bless VMs, okay? Windows has an issue, load state. Thank you, Jesus. So I decided to load in, and even while I natively loaded in without the virtual machine, Windows told me my computer isn't compatible. So I don't know if this is some weird form of poor shaming or tech shaming, I don't care. Basically, Microsoft said my computer didn't have a TPM and it didn't have secure boot enabled. Now, a lot of you gamers out there who probably have gotten the same message, don't worry, you have those features built into your systems anyways. You just really have to toggle and enable them. I, however, didn't want to change my hardware to satiate Windows. So I decided to go into my virtual machine and I decided to download a few packages. One of them was SWPTM and a few other tools for it, which as you can guess by the name is an abbreviation of Software TPM. I might have gotten that reversed a bit. But the point still stands. By installing this package underneath Linux with a simple command line prompt, I could then go into my virtual machine, add an emulated TPM component. I really don't see what device I had to pick. As long as I emulated a 2.0 module, we were pretty Gucci. I also had to go into the firmware and change one line where I actually picked the firmware, the BIOS firmware, to be the secure boot version. Meaning that after I did all this, Windows was satisfied. So understand, my native computer is not compatible with Windows 11. However, I made the virtual machine compatible with Windows 11. So I booted in, updated Windows, and it didn't really give me the prompt, so I had to go to like download Windows 11. And there's like three options for it. I picked the one where Microsoft just downloads and updates for me, and it took like around an hour to get going. It was a pretty lengthy install. There was a few restarts 
starts, but lo and behold, there was Windows 11, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to understand, I'm having a few issues running this natively, obviously, I'm not matching any of the requirements, but Windows 11 booted up just as I would expect it, and it is what it is. It literally is just Windows 11. Why I dislike Microsoft Windows as a whole is in 2021, this is still one of the main operating systems. I'm looking at you too, Mac, don't, don't look away. This is still one of the main operating systems where I have to blank out my screen and let it update while I can't touch my computer at all. Why can't we be like modern day operating systems and just update it, throw that window onto the side and continue doing whatever it is that I would? Oh wait, it's Microsoft. They like to diddle me somehow. Now to understand, there's a few games that have come out which uh, are actually requiring Windows 11 with Secure Boot and uh, TPM as well. I think one of them is Call of Duty Warzone, which uh, really wants to implement a lot of these new feature sets just so they can run their games without any fear of hackers. Now, as far as I can understand, until their new anti-cheat loads in, which is kernel level, uh, Warzone is satiated. I'm updated to the latest Windows. I have all of these TPMs enabled, these, uh, these secure boot files enabled, and I'm having a good time. Now, the best part about this setup is if you, for instance, don't have TPM at all in your system, but you have the ability to virtualize, which you probably do. Actually, you probably also have TPM and you're probably not figuring it out. You can actually run Windows 11 with all of its requirements without even having the requirements to begin with. Yeah, fuck you, Microsoft. We beat you, dude. I beat you at your own game. Get out of here. So this is a bit different. This is a bit more archaic than like a lot of the other tech channels. But at the same time, all right, I'm also more archaic than the other tech channels. And at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, one thing that I want to do with Windows 11 is remember that project we did a while back where I updated Windows 1 all the way to 10? I actually want to see if for some godforsaken reason I can get that updated to 11. It probably won't happen, but wouldn't it be funny? Ladies and gentlemen, to further prove to you that this was in fact virtualized, I actually loaded up a BPY top so you could see that I was running my virtual container with like 32 gigs of RAM being utilized. The actual processor reported me missing two threads because I reserved them for Linux and just to top it all off, I was running Crisis with some good old fashioned ray tracing, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, can you run Windows 11 without meeting its requirements? Yes, you can. You just have to be as deranged and crazy as me, ladies and gentlemen. That being said, this is me, Mudahar. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. If my neighbor doesn't stop, like, yelling outside my house, we're gonna have to call the police, ladies and gentlemen, and that would be a fun extravaganza. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.